Welcome to Raven's Ratchet Kitchen. I'm here with Ogden, my special guest for tonight, back by popular demand. You guys commented on my last video saying he wanted to see him back in my kitchen cooking with me again, so here he is, I guess. And today we've got a blue apron box. You guys know I love blue apron. I've been using it for a long time. And if you don't know, blue apron is a service that delivers fresh ingredients right to your door with the recipes so you can cook healthy, quick meals at home. But before we go any further, this video is sponsored by Blue Apron, so you know that means I have the hookup for you guys. Check the link down below. The first 50 viewers to use that link will get the first three meals on their first Blue Apron order for free, so definitely check that out. You can get a family plan with enough stuff for your whole family, or you can get the two-person plan. I always get the two-person plan, so it's gonna be perfect for Ogden and I to cook dinner tonight. Shall we see what's in the box? Yeah, 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 yeah. So for my box, I got the two person plan. It's going to come with three different recipe cards. And this is a refrigerated box. So it keeps all your contents cold and fresh until you get to it. And you get these three really awesome recipe cards. Tell the people what we got. The menu. All right, up first, can I get a drum roll please? Okay, we have baked Cajun catfish. Option two, we have chili butter steaks. Last, certainly not least, uh, we have miso butter pork chops. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Let's see. Let's what you see, gonna choose? See. Hey, what you gonna choose? Now, I am on a restricted diet. There's certain things I'm staying away from gluten, I'm staying away from dairy. But that's the good thing about Blue Apron is they actually have several recipes <clears throat> for you to choose from in the first place. They actually have eight different recipes to choose from every time now. And then I've got my selection of three here. And then you can kind of cook it up depending on what you like and what you don't like. So I feel like out of all these three, the chili butter steaks look really good. And they don't really have anything that I'm allergic to except for Parmesan, and I don't have to put the Parmesan on mine, so. Yeah. Let's book it. Here You're we doing go. steaks. Uh -huh. We fancy. We're cooking steaks. So you open up your box, and like I said, it's all refrigerated, so everything stays fresh. And then it has all your fresh veggies in there. We got some broccoli. We got a lemon. We got an apple. Oh, this is like the perfect apple. This is like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Like, not the ones you get at the store. Like. <laughs> but they really do. Like, they try hard to get, like, the best produce and stuff. So we'll just have to sort through all this and look okay, on the card see, and yeah. see which stuff we need. Okay, we need the lemon. We need the potatoes. So here's the big ice pack that was in there. And they give you all the little, all the little fixing. Like, if you need, like, little things of butter or little things of Parmesan or whatever. Fixings. They, they, all the fixings. <laughs> They give you all the fixings in perfect little small quantities so you're not wasting anything, which is why Blue Apron is actually really good for the holidays because you know how you buy all your groceries, but then like during the holidays you might be traveling, you might be visiting family or eating, you know, having your holiday dinners at family's house, then all your groceries in your refrigerator go bad because you bought too much stuff, you didn't cook all of it. Blue Apron is perfectly portioned to exactly what you need for that meal. You can get it set up to where it's delivered right when you know you're actually gonna be home to eat it so you're not wasting groceries during the holidays. Wham bam, okay. Broccoli, lemon, potato, steak, and knickknacks. Okay, yeah, That's it. very simple, very easy. Even an wow. oven can do it. And the rest of the stuff will just Put it in my fridge for when I cook the other meals. If you would, sir. Well, I don't know, I know how to open up a refrigerator door. You just, you. <laughs> oh, and Ogden, I have a special treat for you. No, I don't. Last I, night. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't. Whatever it is, keep it. I don't want it. Last night. I don't want it. What? Last night, one of my other best friends came over. You know, Marion. Oh yeah, what's happening? She came over last night and she brought over stuff to make Moscow mules. Have you ever had one? It's a cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> she brought enough for four servings and we only use two of it, so we have two more servings of stuff. To yeah, make let's those drinks. make it's that. The drink, if you don't know, it's the drink that goes in here. <clears throat> this special cup. I didn't know that. It's for a Moscow. I only had these for decoration because y'all know I love gold, but there's a special drink that goes in here. We have our recipe cards. 
Which, like you gotta I put said, the apple in, the perfectly shaped apple. You have to put that in the refrigerator, guys, just in case you didn't. Oh, we, for we forgot the catfish. Oh, Lord. Jesus. Jesus. Not the catfish. The catfish. Lord, let me tell you something about a little catfish now. <laughs> tell me. Tell me something about a catfish. Well, uh, if you put it in, well. <clears throat> Take your time. Well, okay. Uh, don't want to leave the fridge. Amen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do they say in church when, when you're like stuttering? <laughs> you know when they're like, that's okay. That's all right. Preach. That's all right. <laughs> Preach. We need to be quiet. Zion is sleeping upstairs. Yes, she is. We but just already getting warmed up in here, getting hot. Fried catfish for the church uh, get together at the Watermelon Social this Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Now, I was going to say, this is Raven's Ratchet Kitchen, but we don't have to be ratchet this time because we've got We don't food. have to be. We've got Blue Apron here helping us make real gourmet food the easy way so we don't have to be ratchet, but when Ongden's in town. Ongden. Ongden. <laughs> so here is our beautiful recipe card. It shows us a picture of the finished, oh, it shows us a picture <laughs> of the finished product. And on the back, it shows us step-by-step -step instructions with pictures. So if you don't know how to read, you're still good. <laughs> it's funny because I- uh, You can't I, read. It says, place an oven rack in the center of the oven and preheat the oven to 450 degrees. Gotcha. Do you know how to preheat an oven? Uh, yeah, what does 450 degrees look like again? Huh? Oh, oh, oh. Hey! Yeah. Yeah. Rinse the potatoes off. I'm gonna open up the broccoli. We have beautiful, fresh, colorful ingredients. Look at that. Fresh broccoli. Have you ever seen a broccoli so perfect? You know how to cut broccoli? Because I really don't. I, I don't at all. I just so. kind of like break it up, <laughs> cut the tarry part off and break it up. The last thing I need is Gordon Ramsay watching this video talking about being all rude and nasty. You think Gordon Ramsay watches my videos? I don't know. You tell me, I don't know. Potato bay. Not with the food. <laughs> Not with the food. <laughs> <laughs> this is thing with what? Don't be playing with the with the food, now, child. I'm literally hurting my knuckles because this knife is too small. So you gave you. this one to me. You took it. You should have said no. That's okay. I'll be a gentleman. You have the big knife. You but did. no. Dumb. Dumb. I'm gonna cut the lemon. They said quarter it, I'm not sure why, but I'm sure we'll find out. We've got some beautiful quartered lemon slices here, some beautiful chopped up potatoes, and Ogden just ripped up these broccoli pieces in any which way. So now that we've got everything prepped, we can just go ahead and it says step two to roast the vegetables. So we've got our sheet pan. So we've got our sheet pan here. So we're actually roasting the potatoes and the broccoli all together on the same pan, which is interesting. I've never tried that before. So we're just gonna shooka shooka shooka. Shimmy shimmy shimmy. Shake shake shake. <coughs> oh, lost one man down. Oh boy. Could you stop making so much noise? You're really being a nuisance. Spell nuisance. In you. Nuisance. You spell it. I don't have to. <laughs> How do you spell nuisance? Comment down below. <laughs> and we're just gonna do a little. Do you remember Rachel Ray? Did you ever watch Rachel Ray? Who doesn't? That's like saying, do you remember Obama? <laughs> like she's an icon. What about her? Nothing. I just she would always say like just a little drizzle of EVOO, and I oh, just, yeah? that's what it reminded me of. Look, salt and pepper. Hold up to your face. Hold up to your face. <laughs> That's gonna be our thumbnail. Okay, salt. Hey, this salt. Ooh, oh, comes out kind of fast. Oh, so. oh. That's enough. Uh, the hypertension. The what? The hypertension. You know what she do? do? She got like a scrunchie. Yeah, jug it. What up? 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 So I decided to get on Instagram Live while we're filming so that people can like ask questions and interact. You know, Ogden's fans can I'm ask some questions. And we're just getting started. We're about to put our veggies in the oven to roast. So let's go ahead and put this in the oven since it's preheated to 450. Woo! Raven, what that is? You feel that heat? What that is? I know y'all feel that what heat. What that is? That's hot. That's real hot. That boy hot. That boy hot. We okay, stop, drop, 
Shut them down, open up shop. We need to put the timer on the veggies. How long do the veggies need to be in the oven? What's my favorite food? Um, I like, let me see, Italian food. I like uh, Tex-Mex. I just recently discovered this is exclusive. Um, <laughs> drop a couple bombs. I just discovered uh, guacamole. You just discovered I, guacamole? I love Y'all heard it here guacamole. first. Tom is restaurant. an uncultured swine. I had, what's my sign? I'm Virgo. Me too. We were born, so I was born September 16, 1992. She was born September 17, 1993. Yet she forgets my birthday year after year. That's fake news. That's fake news. You open the meat because I hate doing that. And well, I'm going to big knife. <laughs> I get on Instagram live. I keep touching my hair because I'm not used to wearing it like this. Oh, they want to know who is your favorite artist? Keep going. Uh, sorry, I have to. I can't do two things at once. Uh, my favorite artist. Are we talking about rap or are we talking about R&B or are we just? Just your favorite other? artist in general. Uh, probably Lauryn Hill. Lauryn Hill, interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't know who that is. Do you? How? You really? Whoa, need... whoa, whoa! Let's bring it First, down. First, he didn't two. think I knew who Rachel Ray was, guys. And now he doesn't think I know who Lauryn Hill is. Who do you think name, I am? Name three songs. This is, Dang, I'm sorry. He's been sitting here trying to open this me. This thing ain't. This is. This got so much jelly. <laughs> Does Ogden have any New Year's resolutions? Uh, I don't believe in New Year's resolutions. I believe that, like, if you want to make a change, you do that as soon as possible. Because, like, what's a New Year going to do, you know? I say, if you want to do something new, new with your life. Me. Speaking of New Year's resolutions, Blue Apron is great <laughs> for your New Year's resolutions. Those of you who do make New Year's resolutions, I guess not Ogden. We drizz, ah, this is great. Spilling meat juice all on the flow. Did you? <laughs> I didn't help you. <laughs> Uh, apparently, I'm going to do New Year's resolutions, but for those of you who do and are trying to, you know, eat healthier, stop eating out as much, cook more at home, you need to sign up for Blue Apron, get it delivered right to your door, cook some healthy meals from scratch, me. start off 2018 the right way. Um, okay, season with salt and pepper. We have the worst attention span right now. Wait, that's all we, not that no season is You want to want to kick it up or not? We got you got a little. Go on here. Chef, See, uh, we can customize it. Listen, in but every, it is gonna have a hot chili in sauce every, over it. In every household, they, it don't matter how old the can is. Don't matter. That's if, new. The, Cause I use mine. That's a new one. Uh, it look still. You gonna have about three, four, five of these in the pantry somewhere. A little bit of pepper. A little she bit sure of salt. did mean a little bit. Well, you know, you don't wanna overdo it. It's gonna just flavor blast your palate. Ogden wants to add his own spice of a little bit of spicy Cajun seasoning. Flip it back over, please, sir, if you would be so kind. Flip it. It's still getting juicy, man. It's a juicy stage. <laughs> <It's a bite. laughs> Can another man do the thing you like? Ain't your time to change now. I'm finished, so you know what I got. Drop, drop. Is this hot? If it's not hot, then we're gonna have to take it out. I learned this from Chef Gordon Ramsay himself. If it's not hot, you know, take it out. It has to be like piping hot. It's hot. Okay. It has to be sizzling. Oh, we hot. You hear that sizzle. Oh. Sitting here at the Western Sizzler. We're gonna have the softened butter, and then we've got this hot chili, hot chili paste, I guess. An interesting little ingredient here. I'm trying to speak up because the steaks are sizzling <laughs> behind me. And after that, it's just waiting for everything to cook now and then we're done. Oh, now my hands are slippery because I got all the butter on my fingers. Use your man strength. It ain't about strength at this point. It's about friction. <laughs> <laughs> Is that from a movie? No. <laughs> <laughs> you just came up with it. Go ahead and smoosh that up. Make it a nice little paste. <laughs> Get the paste in there, baby. Our steaks are over here sizzling. Got a nice little char going. <laughs> Maybe a little bit too much of a char. Yeah, we could probably slow that down because you know they're going to keep cooking when you turn them off. I know. I, I turned it down earlier. Auntie Ray Ray and Uncle OG coming yes. to you live with the recipes. It's your boy, Young Fetus Jones, AKA Lil Similac. Coming to you live and direct. What's that from? Oh, I made that up. No, you didn't. I swear. I heard that before. Yeah, because I said it before. Are the potatoes cooked? 
Uh, well, they're more stuck than cooked. Live from the 500. Okay, we can go with Live. it. <laughs> Live, okay, name that freestyle. Don't put me on the spot. Live from the, from the, from the gotcha. gotcha. Live, Live from, from the, the 504. It's Mr. Mr. Crazy Float, jumping like a bungee, no rope. Uncle Ogden is bae. What up? Mr. had to do it to him. Who is he, her uncle? <laughs> Come on, y'all. What kind of sense is that? <laughs> Not even in the bad woods of Kentucky would that make sense. He's my friend from high school. I call him Uncle Ogden because I don't know why. <laughs> put the broccoli in the bowl because we can put lemon juice, they said, and Parmesan. I think we should put lemon juice on the broccoli mm -hmm. and Parmesan on the potatoes. That's fine. Boom. Perfect. All right. Go ahead, place it on over here with the rest of the accoutrement. Squeeze you a little lemon on there. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Get a good grip. You're not good with the friction I'm today. Not, yeah, I'm not. Okay, so I learned this from Rachel Ray. Or was it? Maybe. I don't know. But don't like, uh, you know, squeeze the lemon, you know, upside down or whatever, because then you're going to get all the seeds in there. You squeeze it in your fingers, and then you kind of let the juice run through it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let the juice run, run through. through. Yeah. Let's so see. then that way your, your hands catch all the seeds and stuff. <laughs> this is not... They're coming. I'm gonna make a surprise birthday to y'all. All right, this may take a while, so we're just gonna cut to the next we're clip. Good. Got our steaks here, ready to be sliced. They're nice and rested. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. That's not bad. We gotta see once we get more towards the middle, though. <laughs> we're about to eat a nice oh, little good. tire. But I think I'm cutting it right, and I think we cooked it pretty good. Nice. All right. Wait, we gotta make our drinks. Oh yeah. Cocktails with Ray. Okay, how, what, how do we do this? Oh, we got, what that is, that's the Grey Goose. No, oh, yes. yeah, we got to Marion, my friend Marion hooked it up. She brought over Grey Goose vodka. Oh, yeah. She brought everything. It takes mint, lime juice, and ginger beer. I do have the actual proper Moscow Mule cups, like I said earlier, and basically just start by putting ice in it. So it's just mint leaves, lime juice, ginger beer, and vodka. Pretty much. Just get like a few ripped up, a few leaves in each cup. Go ahead and pour your whole bottle in there. And then we're gonna do two shots of vodka. Two shots of vodka. You said four shots. And then about like, I guess one whole lime worth of juice, depending on how limey you want it. But you kind of need the lime to cut the taste of the ginger because this ginger beer is a lot more gingery than just like regular ginger ale. But I had a shot glass to get the perfect measurement, uh, but we, you no, just want to be no. We're gonna Rachel Ray reckless. It. Yep, and eyeball it. Taste test. Cheers. Cheers. Thumbnail. Smile. I don't. I didn't know how much vodka you poured in. Hmm? <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> All right, now it's time for the taste test. Lord, thank you for this blessing. Thank you for this food. She's just for the nourishment of our body. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right. I kind of need a knife, but I'll just be a savage and take a bite. There we go. Would you take a bite of first? This is good. This is good. I took a very large bite, but it is very good. It's not too spicy. It just gives like a look. It just gives like a little hint of flavor. All right, so this is all actually really, really good. I feel like we did a good job cooking, although we got a little bit distracted and had a little bit, you know, mishaps here and there. It all actually turned out really good. This is actually a really easy recipe. I feel like anybody can do it. And that's what's so good about Blue Apron is they really break it down for you and make it easy, but it turns out really delicious. So if you guys are interested in trying it for yourself, definitely check out the description box down below. I will have a special link for you guys where the first 50 50 viewers will get their first three meals free on their first Blue Apron order. So definitely click that link down below, check it out. I would highly recommend it. And also comment down below and tell me what you wanna see me cook in the next episode of Raven's Ratchet Kitchen. Leave all your recipes. I
Just go, just eat in my face while I'm talking. Leave all your recipe ideas down below, new things that I should try out. If you wanna see all of them back in the next video, let me know. If you don't, let me know. And <laughs> <laughs> I can work something out for you guys. But that's pretty much it for this video. We're also, please be sure to spell nuisance in the comments below. Oh yeah, tell us how you think nuisance is spelled without cheating in the comments down below. And make sure you follow Ogden. I will put his social media down below, so check out his stuff and yeah that's pretty much it we're gonna finish eating drink our drinks also send me a picture if you guys make this drink for the first time send me a picture i would love to see and if there's any like variations or anything that we left out or whatever we'll just make it's it. probably not perfect but yeah. we'll make it we'll make it again we'll try again or or you could let me know a different cocktail that i should try in the next video that we should try there we go um so yeah leave all your comments and suggestions and we will see you guys in the next video bye